god. Just shut up. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Uh, anyway. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a little rant. I'll put it that way. Uh, I'm going to be playing the game in the background while I talk. But the gameplay is not going to be at all interesting. Because I'm going to be too busy concentrating on talking. Um, since this update has come out... There's been a lot of people on social media, on YouTube, on everything, on the forums, and all they've done is moan, 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 and moan. Just shut up. Honestly, just shut up. Number one, the game is free. Okay, the game is free. The game needs to be updated. No game can stay how it is. Okay, it needs to be updated. Okay, they've made a mistake. They, they've done things slightly wrong, but it's not entirely Wargaming's fault. What Wargaming do is they give it out to the people that do the super test, and they say everything is right. So, if anything, Wargaming needs to sack the people that do the super tests. You know, get rid of them. They're the ones that said everything was fine. They're the ones that said that everything was alright. They're the ones that said, yeah, put it into the game, everything's ready to go. You know, Wargaming just listen to them. You know, they do it and they give it to them. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, you've, you've got people. You've got people saying that they're never going to play the game again. You know, oh, my, there's seven years of my life down the drain. I'm not playing this game ever again if it stays like this. Hey, games need to be updated. Okay? Games need to be updated. Every single game has to have an update. If a game doesn't update itself... I mean, you're basically playing COD. You're basically playing Call of Duty if you're not if, if the game company do not update their game. It's just the same thing year year on year out. It really is. You need to update the game, okay? Okay, you know, there's a lot of things I didn't like about it, but they are adjusting it every single time. They are changing things. They're making it better. They're listening to feedback. They are doing it. And w when you sit there. And you turn around and you say things like, Oh, I've put loads of money into this game. Hundreds of pounds, dollars, euros, or whatever. I've put loads of money into this game and now you've ruined it for me. The game is free to play. Nobody is forcing you to put money into the game. Nobody. You do that because you want to. Because you want to support the game that you like to play. We didn't even scratch them. Nobody forces you to put money into this game. Nobody. And you all sit there, and, and you, you just do nothing but criticise them. And say, oh, it's terrible, it's terrible, go back to how it was, it's terrible. Uh. If, if Wargaming go back to how it was, then what they're saying there is they don't want to update their game. They just want to say, no, no, we're, we're going we're gonna to stay in the 20th century and that's it. We're not, we're not going to bother updating it. The player base will go down, because nobody will expect any updates on this game or anything like that. And they'll be in a rut then. The company will go bust. It'll be game. If, if, if you're afraid of a game being updated, then, you know, wait for it to have the update. Don't play it. Just wait. Listen to the community. People say that there's problems. Just wait for the update to be fixed. They'll, they'll, they'll put out patches like they're doing. They'll fix it. And everything will be fine. Don't sit there and moan on the forums giving negative criticism and feedback like that. Because it doesn't help anybody. It does not help anybody. Imagine being one of the developers, right, that's put their time into making this game as good as they can be. And then you come along and you just turn around and say to them, no, the game is crap. We don't like it anymore. I'm never playing it again. You've ruined it for me. Imagine how bad they feel. That's not what they want, you know. Criticism is, you know, criticism. You, you got to have negative criticism, but not like that. Telling someone that, you know, that they are terrible and then they need to. Well, I'm not going to say what they need to do because I'm not singling people out that I've seen. But some of the comments and things that I've seen are absolutely horrible, absolutely horrible and disgusting, and they should be ashamed of themselves. Like all I'm saying is, a game needs to update. A game needs to change. You know, the game needs to change. If it stays the same, like I said, you're playing Call of Duty then. A 
game needs to be different, it needs to change, and it's not going to change if every time an update comes out and they break one thing, and everyone goes off the handle and says, no, I'm not playing anymore. It's stupid. I ain't playing this game no more. You know, what, you, what is that? You're just not, you're not helping anything. You're, you're just not helping anything at all. You're not helping anything. All you're doing is showing how pathetic you are. You know, things didn't go right, you're throwing your dummy out of the pram. That's all you're doing. Just throwing that dummy out of the pram and showing people your real age. You know, I'll, 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 I'll admit, I'll admit, I, w I wasn't happy with this game when, when, when they released this update. I was probably exactly the same as most of you are. But, I understand why they've done it. You know, I understand why they've done it. They have to update the game. Updating is what has to happen. They can't just keep adding tanks in. They can't just keep adding maps in. That's not going to do anything. W whether you like it or not, the game will get better. And the only way the game's going to get better is if they update it. Okay, some people out there might say, well, you know, they did rush it. They, they, they should have took more time. Yeah, they should have took more time. But as I said, it's not entirely their fault, you know? The game developers, you know, the ones that made the update, ones that, 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 that did the super test, they were told by the people that did the super test, the game is fine. They told them the game is absolutely fine, that there's no problems with the game. So if there's anybody that should get the sack, it's them. They should get new developed, new super testers, sorry. The super testers, they're the ones that need the telling off. Not the game developers. They do what they what what they have to do with their department, blah blah blah. -la. They do all that. They all come together. They do more. They give it to the people that do the super test. They test it and they say yes, this is fine. This is actually what the community want. And it's not, and it ruins. That's what this is. Well, I just played a really good game. All I'm doing is ranting. That that's what this is. You know. You, you don't sit there and say I'm not playing this game now. Seven years, all my money down the drain, blah 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 blah. You're being pathetic. Just shut up. You're being pathetic. Stop throwing your toys out of your pram and get on with it. Okay? It's not about adapting. It's not about adapting. Yeah, you know, you, you've got to learn some new stuff. But is that not the same thing with, with every game? Okay, I'll I, I put it to you this way. I'll put it to you this way. Let's imagine that this is a whole new World of Tanks game. Okay? This this is their next game. The only thing that they've been able to do is you're able to transfer your account and all your tanks and all that kind of stuff over to this brand new game. Okay? And you've started playing it for the first time. What's it like when you start playing a game for the first time? There's always going to be the odd bug. There's always going to be things that are going on. There's always going to be things you don't like. You name a game that, when it's come out, that s s people said, yeah, yeah, this is perfect. I wouldn't change a single thing, because there isn't one. That actually is not a game that's come out that people have said, no, 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 you know, this is absolutely perfect. I would not do anything to this game. I'll give you a few examples. When GTA got released, when they finally did the multiplayer, what happened to the multiplayer? It went down. Nobody could do anything. It was down for months. You, you, you got on when you finally did get on. It would just crash and say no. I mean, it, it's even now. It's even happening now. The new Call of Duty. When, when you go on to the new Call of Duty, it happened to me. It destroyed your Xbox. It destroyed my Xbox. It corrupted my save file and everything. And I lost everything. It's, 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 it, even, even Xbox, when I rang them and spoke to them and I asked them about it, and that's what they said, it's the new Call of Duty. It destroyed my Xbox, and it's like, <laughs> and you guys are moaning about a game that is still playable. You're still here now playing the bleeding game. You know, at, at least you, you, you've not paid like 40 or 50 pounds for the game, or dollars or whatever. At least you haven't paid that much money for the game, you cannot, you cannot no longer play it. And again, it's a free-to-play game. You don't have to put money in. No one's forcing you to put money into the game. You do that because you want to support them. 
Oh my god. I've never ranted like this before, but when you go on and you look at social media, and, and like, you know, you, you look at Twitter and things like that, and people put up tweets to, to say that, you know, boycott the game, don't play it. It's absolutely terrible. What a new player gonna think when they see that? You know, they're gonna see that and think, no, do you know what? I've, I've, I've seen the, these guys say that, I'm not playing the game. It's, it's, you're just being pathetic. You really are being pathetic. I did not want to make this video. I really didn't. But, it, it just seems like people are listening to people that, you know, are only there because they don't want to see change. They're scared. Grow up. Change is good. You want to see a change in a game. You don't want the game to be the same year on, year out. I told you, you're playing Call of Duty, if that's the case. And nobody wants that. Nobody wants the game to be the same year on, year out. Just stick with them. They know what they're doing. They're on it. There's always micro patches coming out. And they're fixing things. You know? The, 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 the six cent stuff used to be over here. It's that they've now moved it down here. You know, they're thinking of getting the minimap back down here. They're, they're going to fix it. It's going to get fixed. Don't ruin it for everybody else. Because you're saying that don't play the game, it's terrible. I am not a community contributor before anybody says in the comments. I'm not a community contributor. Wargaming don't pay me anything. This is my opinion. I love this game and I have loved this game since day one and I still love this game now. I understand that the game needs an update. I understand there's bugs in it. I understand things need fixing. But it's not going to stop me from playing the game that I love and the game that I've put a load of time, time and effort in playing. And no one on the internet is going to tell me otherwise. No one is going to tell me otherwise. Anybody that knows me, all my fans, anybody that knows me, knows I, tr I try to help this game. I've tried to help this game. I try to help people play this game, especially the new players that play this game. And how can people play this game when there's people on the, on the internet that are just completely brain dead and all they do is tell people that the game is crap and never to play it. It's not worth playing. Oh, I've got a little fight there. You know? No, you don't do that. Oh. God damn it. I've been ranting now for like 10 minutes. Oh, God's sake. I can't repair that either. You know? Criticism is good. You know, that they've said themselves. You know, you, ha you have to give ne negative criticism. You know, negative feedback. But not the feedback of the negative criticism that I've seen. I'm not, I'm not shaming people. I'm, I'm not going to tell people who said what or what's going on. I'm not showing anybody anything. I'm just telling you that y y you're pathetic. You really are pathetic. This game, by the time they're done, this game is going to be one of the best games ever and you're going to regret ever saying the words that you've said. I'm telling you. I'm telling you all right now. Oh god, CD for heavy. I'm telling you all right now. You will like the game when they're finished. And I'm, like I said, I'm not a community contributor. It's nothing to do with me. Wargame don't pay me anything. I'm just telling you that this game is going to be good. For w what they've said they're going to do. And what they're doing, this game is going to be a really fun game to play. But it's not going to be fun for the new people if all they're doing is listening to people that do negative criticism all the time because they don't like one thing. I've seen the polls that they put on the forum about people liking it, like 90% of people said they don't like it, change back, they won't change back. I've told you why they won't change back. If they change back, they're going back on everything and then they're, they're basically telling everybody that they're not going to update the game. Oh, I'm going to die here. And they're not going to update the game, and that's not right. Games need updating. That's... That's all I have to say on the matter. Just stick to it. If you don't, if you don't like it how it is right now, just wait. Just don't play the game. Just wait until after they finish updating it and everything gets put back to the way you like it. Don't ruin it for everybody else. 
That's all I'm saying. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you all later. Bye-bye.